Hey guys, welcome back to another gameplay. Today we're looking at World War Zero on the PS2. This one's been requested by my good friend Ty Wayne. And this is an alternate history PS, uh, FPS game. Uh, yeah, I've had a go on it. <laughs> it's okay. It isn't definitely isn't brilliant, but I mean, I only paid £1.60, so it's well worth that. Let's put it that way. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Killzone as well, the original Killzone for somebody. I don't know if it's the same graphics engine, but it does certainly seem that way. The first level in particular is very much reminiscent of the original Killzone first level. But uh, there's no real like, stealth or anything to it. You just basically just blast the shit out of anything that gets in your way. Apparently, it did not start save my game last time. Huh, that's odd. Why didn't it save my game? That's annoying because I actually got to the second level yesterday. Oh well. Okay, full contact established. We'll just get stuck here. Now. I'm actually holding a shotgun at the moment, even though it looks nothing like a shotgun. And also the AI is crap, they just sort of walk into it for no reason like that. And they do that all the time. It's got to be the most dumb AI I've ever seen in a game actually. <laughs> Twitchy analog sticks on the face too as well. It's really weird. As I said, this first level reminds me of Killzone uh, level one of the PS2. Which is no bad thing because I like the original Killzone. Don't like the sequel, but the original is great. Might just find some way to shoot. There's just like nothing special about the game, you just shoot anyone that bloody moves. Shit, just throw a bloody grenade at one.
Uh, I would say, I mean, basically, I've got this £1.60, so it's not a lot of money. So if you find it that cheap, I'd just buy it, because it, it's an alright game, it's, it's, it's not worth paying a lot of money for, but if you find it cheap enough, it's worth a pick up. But it's just good fun, just shooting everyone. Damn it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the auto locks onto the enemy, so you haven't really got to do anything. That pisses me off in first person shooters, because I want to try it myself. I find it a lot more accurate. I can kind of take the fun out of the game when the, uh, when the computer's doing the work for you. It's really weird because it reverses the controls and it makes it really, really hard to get the angle. direction you end up hitting them anyway. <laughs> so it's a bit crap but I work proper aim. But it's brutal enough and that'll do me. And that's the other thing in all he does that and you think oh the game pause. But no in fact what's happened is it's you're on to the next level. So I bloody saved this yesterday didn't save. Weird. This level's a bit nice actually, you've got some snow, because a bit of time splitters on this one. But it's basically uh, shooting fish in a barrel, it's just generic, you're just running around just shooting everybody. There's no, nothing really special about it. Obviously there are far superior first person shooters to this one. But I think if you get it cheap enough, why not just pick it up? It's just a brain dead, you run and gun. Oh. 
So there you go guys, that's World War Zero on the PlayStation 2. As I say, not the most amazing game in the world, but if, you, if like me, you can pick it up really cheap. I would highly recommend doing it if you like these kind of games. Uh, it's extremely basic, nothing special, but a fun little pick up for a couple of quid. So there you go guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon.